Bless the Lord, early birds. This is the day the Lord has made. We will surely rejoice and be glad in it. Glad to have the opportunity to share with you this morning. Just dropped a line from our live conversation uh, with our uh, early birds uh, on our prayer line. And uh, what an awesome experience as we experience the word of God and the word of testimony and prayer. Awesome experience in the Lord. Go to our website to get the particular number uh, for our um, prayer line. I don't want to give it to you inaccurately, but it should be on either the flyer or the website. So you can call in and be a part of the prayer line and prayer and testimony. We want to be a blessing to you. And in this early bird reflection, we are uh, appreciative of Abram's example of what it means to mourn and experience God's favor. He has experienced the loss of Sarah uh, of chapter 22. She's transitioned. Abram's making, Abraham's making arrangements for her in the midst of all of this very surreal season and many of us have been there especially as of late with so many who in our own families in one way or another every one of us has been touched by uh, the calamity of COVID in one way or another in the midst of crisis that COVID has afforded us we've also had the benefit of COVID's blessings of in terms of God's blessings in the midst of COVID God's favor in the face of a pandemic uh, it's amazing how God's favor is even more accentuated in moments of anomalies like these. We are visited by the word that gives us the indication that God is able to bring favor through uh, angels, through others uh, who may not necessarily be in our families, but others who we encounter, the Hittites, uh, Ephron in particular, is uh, useful and helpful to Abram as Abraham as they settle on a means by which Abraham can bury Sarah in dignity. He also Abraham makes provision for his son Isaac and sends his servant who he once thought would be the one for, through whom the promise would be fulfilled actually became a help uh, helper of the promise by locating Rebecca. And I really appreciate his example of uh, prayer and the angel of the Lord going before him and directing his footsteps, giving him success. And I really want to admonish and encourage those of us who are going into this day to ask the Lord to give you success. To help you to discern the various choices and options uh, that you have throughout the day you only have 24 hours in this day and you ought to really consider and continually ask for direction and intention of the lord to give you the success that is meaningful that's uh, measurable intentional that's tangible and real and of course the intangibles uh, that success offer offer and also offer in terms of just that sense of fellowship and that sense of assuredness and joy and gratitude those intangibles uh make it all worthwhile by the end of this day i hope that you will be grateful for the way in which god uh, prospers you and the way in which God directs your footsteps. Rebecca is and identified by virtue of a predisposed, uh, a predetermined set of expectations that God more than fulfills. I love how we can communicate with and, and partner in, in God uh, as God gives and the desires of our hearts. Gehazi is a servant, so I like that also, that he is a serving we can be successful in serving. We can be successful in helping others. And God gives us that success to be of a support to others who are grieving, who are going through. And so ask the Lord to show you how to do that. And God will. Sometimes it means saying nothing, doing nothing, just being there. And so I pray God give you the words and the means by which you can be successful today. We're in Matthew 17 as Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration is illustrated by Matthew to be 
the the Moses to be the giver of the law and also the fulfillment of prophetic pronouncement. He is both. He is both the fulfillment of the law and prophetic pronouncement. Jesus is the full load. Jesus is the full and complete package. Jesus is all. And because of this, we're able to experience the reality of his favor, the reality of his of his of the fulfillment that we experience through relationship and fellowship with him. We're given witness to see Jesus in his glory and to see ourselves in God's plan of redemption and salvation. We are the disciples who are challenged and encouraged to see Jesus even in the midst of these grievous seasons and times in our lives. I love you, early birds, and I pray that God will continue to give you strength. Let's pray. God, I want to thank you for these early birds who are receiving the word today. I thank you, Lord, for your word that gives us the assurance of your favor in the midst of frightening circumstances, of challenges, of transitions, changes, uh, and um, see changes that take place in our lives. We're thankful, God, that one thing that never changes is the fact that you're with us. You keep us. You love us. You direct our footsteps. God, we thank you for angels who watch over us and for angels who direct our footsteps, who protect us and give us success. Help us to take this day as it is and to give it back to you as well as all of the successes. Lord, I pray that by the end of this day, we will be grateful for all that you have done for us. We love you. We bless you. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Bless every early, every early bird or God who's on this line, who listens to this reflection and who shares it and who walks in the revelations of it. I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this opportunity to give. I bless you and praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. I love you, early birds. God bless you. Take care. Peace.